Good morning guys, how are you doing? I hope you are having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. It is crazy that people watch these videos from literally, I think it is more or less every single country in the world. That is absolutely insane. I hope you're having a lovely day, I hope you've got lovely weather and I hope you're just enjoying yourself and you're well, you know? I hope that you're well, that is the most important thing. Today is day five, so I've got to tick off day four. See, look, we're getting there already. Like, this is actually insane, like, it's already day five. I only feel like I started this thing yesterday. Let's tick this one off, the 15th, Saturday. See you later. Did you yesterday? Yo, four in a row now, guys. Myself, Zoe, Poppy, Sean, and mum and dad. Uh, actually, I think dad's coming. No, yeah, dad is coming. We're going to see that new Disney film. You know the one, Inside Out. The one where it's like inside their head. We all really, really wanted to see it for a while. And we've decided that 11 o'clock this morning. Hey, it's baby. Here. She jumped off there. Yeah. No, you're not allowed to do parkour. You've got a poorly stomach. She just jumped off of here. Not even off the sofa, off of here. She is not allowed to do that because of her poorly stomach from her operation. Missy, no running. I know you're excited that it's the morning, but you're not allowed. Right, I've got to start off today with my food plan. It was meant to start at half past seven, it is now ten minutes to nine. Don't worry, I did wake up earlier. We got up, Gnarly was, Gnarly? Gnarly. Gnarly was a little bit poorly this morning, so we've been looking after her. We've been up for like over an hour or so, um, but I just haven't had time to eat yet. So, I need to look at what my trainer said I have to have and when I have to have it. Because I think it was meant to start at 7.30 this morning. And I kind of haven't eaten yet. For breakfast, I need to start off with between half a pint, half a litre and a litre of water. Damn it, I haven't done that yet. And then 7.30, damn it, at 7.30 I was meant to eat 65 grams of oats with protein shake, four eggs and three egg whites, ten almonds and a green tea. Right. That's all good because yesterday I filled this little cupboard up here with loads of that stuff when I bought it all. So, let's make it all. Let's make my new breakfast. Breakfast is made. Right, so, we've got my porridge with protein shake. There's so much of it that it's going to take me ages to eat. Eggs, almonds, green tea. Still got to drink my water first. Yo, this is a big old breakfast. I think the only thing that is going to make this really hard for me is my chest pains when I eat. As long as I like have a good day's eating, maybe this could even help my chest pains, like having a fixed diet. As well, how much you used to eat? Like people used to be like, where does your food go? Exactly. You, you used to eat so much. You could have literally like three meals. For yeah, I used to go to Nando's, and I'm being serious. I used to go to Nando's and have like six sides. I like I get, a, I used to get a double like chicken that. wrap. Then I would also get halloumi inside, chips, chips with peri salt, salt, rice, olives. Then I would also get the hummus dip starter. Probably add in like... I would say even a year ago you ate like that. My chest thing. Sucks. It's so I annoying. I bet you will never eat all of that. If my chest doesn't hurt, then I'm going to eat all of it. Are you hungry? I have to be hungry. <laughs> you have no choice. I have to be hungry. I have no choice. I forgot to tell you guys that we are no longer going to the cinema, which is a shame because I really, really wanted to see that movie, but we've all got different things going on at different times. Like I've got to upload my daily vlog at five, Zoe's got main channel video, I've got main channel video, Poppy's got blog post, mum and dad are doing something today, so we've all got things at different times. So we thought we were going to go, but we no longer are. But it doesn't matter, we can go and see it another time. I was meant to have two lunches with this, like, food plan thing. One was earlier, about, uh, no, one was way earlier. I was meant to have one two hours ago, and then I was meant to have the other one like an hour, uh, half an hour ago. So I've kind of got two lunches right next to each other now. I've got to eat this, which is 25 grams of rice, tuna, broccoli, and some uh, almonds. And then I've got the same over here. So I've now got to eat both portions of those, which is a ton of food. I don't know how I'm going to manage to eat all of that, but I have to do it. I think I'm going to have like a half an hour or an hour break in between them. 
And then obviously I've got dinner tonight, which is, I, I'm missing another meal. I was meant to have another meal uh, pretty soon. Um, but I'm just going to give that one a miss because I'm not even working out for today. So I don't want to eat a crazy amount. Um, but I've already cooked chicken for tonight. I've cooked three chicken breasts, which I only actually need one tonight. And I'm going to have sweet potato and vegetables, which is going to be beetroot and spinach with that tonight. We also need to do all the dishwasher. We've got a lot of mess down there. I like having to cook in advance or cook proper meals. I don't know. I should have done this more. I hope, I hope that I stick to this diet thing because it's, it's cool so far. Right, I now need to edit my daily vlog. I just need to quickly jump in here and get a battery because this camera is about to run out any second. And I've got a brand new fully charged one under the desk, charging down here. Oh, dropped it on the floor. Here we go. So I'm now gonna switch the batteries over, but then I'm also gonna edit the daily vlog, so I need to take my SD card from this camera here. So I'll catch you in a bit. Had a little bit of an event, guys. Um, I've just got off the phone now. I've had to ring the vets, because Nala just can't keep her food down. She threw up her breakfast. And then for lunch, about half past one, we gave her just plain white rice, like boiled, and some plain chicken which is meant to be the best thing because it's super bland to give dogs once they've got like bad stomachs. And then like five hours later just now, she's just thrown up on the floor, which isn't great. So just rung the vets now, the emergency vets, and we've got an appointment at 7.45 tonight. tonight. Yeah, they said we have to go tonight. Where to? Uh, the same place, our normal vets, which is good. So that's the thing now. Did she's just feeling think it is? very sorry for herself. They didn't know, they just said we were booking to see a vet. Are you okay, baby? Are you poorly? You can't keep your food in your tummy, can you? That's not good. It's really testing my emetophobia. Yeah, Zoe's got a massive phobia of vomit if you didn't know it's sick. So every now and again, like... I mean, just diarrhea th is also not... Oh yeah, and diarrhea. I forgot, I didn't even tell these guys they share diarrhea as well. It's just been nice. It's been really, really nice just clearing up sick and diarrhea, you know? On a more of a positive note, both my videos have just gone live, both my daily vlog and my main channel video, which is really, really good. But we haven't really I can't done- I go to the back with pizza pajama bottoms on, can I? Yeah, you can. Of course you can. But we haven't really had a chance to do anything fun today. We've just been taking it back, relaxing and looking after Nala. Shooting some b-ball. Because she's been shooting some b-ball up and all good. One a couple of guys. Um, yeah. They also, this healthy eating thing is really testing me. Like, I just, because I'm not really eating a lot of carbs, I had 50 grams of rice, which isn't very much. I just feel so hungry. Like, I've eaten a lot, but I just don't feel like the bloated full. I think like the normal sign of being full up is being like too full up for me. I don't know if that makes sense. But normally I eat and eat and eat until I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so full up. But I don't feel like that because I haven't had much carbs. So I feel like I need to eat. I need to eat something, but I don't. I've had enough to eat. It's just strange not like eating to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so full. I don't know. Maybe that's just me who likes to eat a lot. Also, it's kind of hard to eat healthy when you've got this just sitting there, all of those cakes. And then over here, we also have this. Just chilling here, a bag of my favorite chocolates. For you as well. And then over here, we have something even more tempting. We have this, which is just full of yummy chocolate bars. Look at that, Kit Kat Chunky. And Zoe even just put a Kit Kat Chunky in the fridge. So there's gonna be a nice cold Kit Kat Chunky. But I can't eat it. I have to stick to things like this. Oh, she came running over thinking it was her food. You can't have any more food because you can't keep it in you. Look at your little shaven sides, it's so sad. Apparently it's gonna take six to eight weeks for her hair on the sides to go back. Off to the vets we go. It's off to the vets we go. Nala, calm down. Calm down, Missy. Back from the vets, guys, and we've got kind of good news. He said that it was 
basically okay. But the worst thing to do when a dog has diarrhea or vomit is to feed them. And of course that's what we did with Nala not knowing that we weren't meant to. So he was like, of course, like when you're sick, could you then go and eat another meal? No, you wait it out. So we're not allowed to feed Nala now for the next 24 hours and she's just had two injections. One to slow down her digestion, which means that she won't have diarrhea, and an anti-sickness pill to not make her be sick, which will be good. Are you feeling sorry for yourself and poorly at the moment? Yeah? Let's take this little jacket off of you. Come here. Let's take that off. Good girl. You don't need that, do you? You okay? You a brave girl with your injections. You didn't even moan at all, did you? She had two injections and she literally just acted like nothing was happening. She was just sat there like, while she injected the back of her neck twice, so. Super, super proud of her. And now Zoe and I, what are you up to? Just going through Twitter. Just chilling on Twitter. I am just uh, baking a sweet potato in the oven to go with my chicken that I made earlier. And then I'm going to add some beetroot and some spinach. And then I'm also just about to have a protein shake before that as well. So still eating, still sticking to it. I haven't cheated at all so far. Although those giant buttons are killing me. And so is that cold uh, Kit Kat in the fridge. But none of that. Oh my god. I don't know if you saw in yesterday's video. But Zoe at the end had chocolate and was getting super hyper. So she was doing like some really funny things. Zoe has just retweeted somebody who tweeted her this. And then that. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. And my dinner is complete. I got beetroot. I got a load of spinach, I got chicken, and I got sweet potato. Why does our bedroom always make me look so yellow? I think our really lights yellow. are just really, really yellow. Now look how yellow I look. Right. I'm going to end the vlog now, guys. Let me turn back off the light. <laughs> I've just got tucked up in bed, brushed my teeth, got ke uh, not ketchup. <laughs> ketchup. Got um, toothpaste everywhere, all over me. Um, what are we watching? Yes, man. Yes, man. Oh, and Zoe's reading I the book I bought her. Tell you Can I show them the book? Good. Um, back in 2012, when I was a really sad person. Yeah. Um, I watched this film a lot because it's one of the films that made me decide to say yes to a lot. So, one of my sayings is always just say yes. Obviously, mm -hmm. not to everything. Like that would be ridiculous. No, but to things. But it's that... like. It means a lot to me because that was the year I decided to say yes to things I would never normally say yes to. Mm -hmm. So this film is what inspired me. That's nice. And also yeah. lots of other things, but I was watching this and I was like, why don't I do this? Wonder like, man. when you watch yeah. it, it's so like... No, it's true, it's got a really good it, underlying message like, behind it, yeah. For sure. This film opens up the idea that if you say yes to something... More good things will happen. You open up, like, you go down this route, or like, path, or like... I don't know, things happen that would not have happened if you'd have said no, if yeah. that makes sense. So you get yourself... Well, it's like the law of attraction, isn't it? Which mm. is, if you're positive, more positive things will happen. I think that's the thing. That is it, isn't it? Also, um, who was it? Was it Lily the other day? <laughs> yeah, Lily, Lily tweeted. Pebbles saying that she bought this book here. And that she'd like decluttered. And that she'd like decluttered her life and everything. And it is called Life Changing I Magic a, of Tidying. I made a joke to Lily saying, oh my God, I need this. I bet Alfie's already ordering it for me on Amazon Prime. And then Alfie screenshot it. I literally like, screenshot me ordering it <laughs> on Amazon Prime like one second so later. I'm reading it now because everyone is like. Is it good, do you reckon? Everyone's saying it's really good. Really? Yeah. Maybe I should read it as well. But um, yeah. We've just been looking after Nala all evening. That's why not much has been happening. Ow. She just, after her injections, the doctor, uh, the vet said that, what's the matter? I don't know, I'm having a really weird pain in my back. Do you want me to massage it while Ow. I'm speaking? The um, vet said today that it'll make her really calm and really quiet and sleepy. She's literally been like another dog. Like her tail is normally like curled and up like a little piggy. It's been like completely sagged down. Like she just looks so sad and like, Solemn, like, mouth. yeah, and she keeps on being sick in her mouth, like a little bit. It's not probably sick because she can't be because she had an anti sickness, but just really, like, I don't know, it's so sad. She just seemed like she was like 80 years old and she was so frail. So we just put her to bed now. 
and we're leaving all the doors open so that in case she makes any noise in the night and she needs us then we can quickly go down and help her but um yeah sorry that the vlog wasn't as entertaining today i thought we were going to have a really lively fun busy day but it ended up just being a really chatty day of us not doing much um because nala wasn't too well but i hope you understand we've got a dog and that sometimes is just the way it goes um zoe and i said it's literally like if we had a baby like i can imagine this what we're feeling right now is exactly what it's like to have a baby like we had barely any sleep last night got woken up really early to cry in and she, a pooey bed. pooey bed she's been vomiting and pooing all day like a poorly child this is what yeah, it's gonna be literally like. like just having like a baby not a baby but i suppose actually. yeah like a little little baby just poos it's nappy she pooed her bed Pooing, vomits when you eat like when you feed babies sometimes they just sick it back up we basically had a baby today a little baby a little sad baby listen to this in this book it says i've assisted individual clients who have thrown out 245 litre bin bags in one go 200 in one go yo what was their original house like i have no idea must have been massive but this person obviously helped jeez i need to read that book after you because i need to tidy my office right so long to read a book. I'm I just slow. Tidy yeah, you that's out. good. I'm just a really slow reader. You're no, I'm not. On no, I'm not. Got no distractions. Yeah, I'm not slow at reading. I just read slowly. If that makes sense. Quote Alfie Days, 2015. I'm not slow at reading. I just read slowly. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to sleep now, guys. Another successful day of the 90. It's five down, that is good. Doesn't it only feel like I started yesterday, Zoe? It's already been five days. Yeah, I know. That's a lot. That's crazy, it's already been five days. Today was the fifth day. So we can cross that one off tomorrow morning together in tomorrow's vlog. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for the support and the two new videos that went up tonight. You guys seem to be loving them. And if you haven't seen them yet, links to both of them will be down below. Uh, go check out the couples tag that me and Zoe did and yesterday's little vlog and stuff like that. Subscribe if you want to see more from me, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Good night.